Hi everyone, welcome to Hoko Life. Before we start playing today, I do just want to say thank you to the Hoko Life team for sending me the code for this game so I could share it with all of you. I was actually meant to receive the code when this game first released on the Switch, which was a long time ago now, but unfortunately there were a few complications, so I ended up only receiving the right game code at the end of last year, and I had so many festive videos planned for that time that I couldn't play the game. But finally, I've finished all of my ongoing series from last year, and I'm excited to play some new games on the channel. So, Hoko Life is a really adorable looking live sim with animal characters characters it looks very very similar to Animal Crossing so I'm really excited to play this game today and see if it holds up against it. I don't want to put them side by side obviously considering one is made by a very successful company and one is just an indie game but I think this game does look amazing especially for Animal Crossing fans like myself so with that out of the way please make sure you get comfy and cozy maybe grab a snack and a drink and let's get into the game. Okay, and here we are at the character creator screen. So, oh my goodness, there's actually quite a lot of options here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna go with the space buttons. We have a lot of options for skin tones and even a custom colour wheel. So you can turn the redness down, turn the greenness down and up. So you can really choose whatever colour skin suits you best. That's amazing. So I can choose to have freckles or cheeks, but when I choose freckles, I can't actually see them anywhere, and when I choose cheeks, they're just white, and I'm not seeing an option anywhere to edit that in any way. So, uh, yeah, fortunately that's all I can do for now. So I guess this is my character for now. So here we are, looks like we've arrived at the train station. Very Animal Crossing-esque. We can't currently travel anywhere. Well, this train station is pretty big, we can walk all the way around it. I like our little converse, we look so cute. Okay, so the lighting in this game is really pretty. It feels so cozy. Hmm, what's over here? The inn, let's go have a look. Welcome, welcome. Well, looks like it's still raining out there. Aye. Take a seat, relax a bit. Oh. Moss the giraffe. Hey now, you're dripping on me. Why don't you sit yourself down and dry off over there, eh? Alright, I'll sit down. Sorry for getting you wet. Perhaps a hot drink to warm you up? Oh, I can choose between tea and coffee. Well, I am British, so, you know, it's tea for me, please. Just a moment. Well, well, it's not every day we see a new face in town. I hope your journey wasn't too wet. You really have had some terrible weather lately. Aye, you're not wrong there. I don't suppose you brought some sunshine with you on your trip here? Here you go, my dear. I'm Oma, by the way, and this is Moss. It's lovely to see a new face in town. What's your name, dearie? I really like the character designs in this so far. Ah, Lulu. What a lovely name. Pleased to meet you, Lulu. I don't suppose you've sorted out somewhere to stay tonight. Uh... No... Not really. Oh, don't be silly, they can stay here. I've got an old room upstairs. Might be a bit dusty, but well, a little dust never hurt anyone, eh? I'm sure the spiders would enjoy the company. <laughs> Shush you, it's not that bad. Ignore moss now. <laughs> it's lovely, I'm sure. Now then, how come you ended up here then, eh? Hmm, I wanted a change. How lovely. Well, a change of scenery is good once in a while, I'll say. Aye, that's true. It's very much a slower pace of life here. Suits me just fine. Moss here runs the store across the street. It's not much, but I like to think it's got everything one could need. Oh, that reminds me, Moss. I need to sort out some new roof tiles. A few blew off last night in the storm. Ah, I'm sure I've got something lying around that'll do the job. Wonderful. Oh my, listen to us chattering on about this and that. It can't be very interesting for you at all, my dear. I'm sure they're just happy to get in out of the rain, aren't you, young'un? Oh yeah. Well, now I think I need to be heading off. Aye, it's getting late. I'll be shutting up soon too, I reckon. You can head on up when you're ready, Lulu. Your room is just upstairs, through the door back there. Thank you. I'm sure I'll speak to you again tomorrow, Lulu. But until then, sleep well. My goodness, the characters in this game are so cute. I'll be heading off soon. Someone needs to open the shop for the morning rush. Okay, let's head up. Get some sleep by interacting with beds. Beds allow you to take a nap for a few hours or sleep until the following day. Okay, so this game won't run in real time. It's getting late, so this time you'll automatically sleep until tomorrow. Look at this cozy little room! Got the tatami floor and the futon. We've got a little chest of drawers. So we can actually store things in here. So cozy. Well, let's get some sleep. Ah, uh, it's a lovely morning now. Let's head down and see what's going on in the world. Morning! How'd you sleep? Oh, I slept great, thank you. Lovely. 
It looks like you brought the nice weather with you, my dear. It's a lovely sunny day out there. Must have managed to clear the fallen tree too, so now you can go and explore the rest of the village if you like. I'm sure you're dying to meet the other villagers, and I'll bet they'll be happy to see a new face. By the way, you're welcome to stay here as long as you need. I don't get that many guests at the moment. Oh, and if you need somewhere to store your things, you can use the chest of drawers in the room. Thank you, Omar. You're very welcome, my dear. Anyway, just head along the path north if you'd like to see the rest of the town. Alright, let's go exploring! Welcome to town. Our quest is to say hi to all the residents. Look at the lovely butterflies! Okay, this game is so peaceful so far. I love that you can hear the birds and stuff. I do kind of wish we had that in Animal Crossing New Horizons, because you can mainly just hear the wind and stuff in New Horizons. You can't hear birds singing or anything unless you go up to the birds on the post office. Sometimes I do wish there was more of an ambience feature in the sound settings, so I really like that so far in this game. Look at all the lovely trees! Alright, before we head off into town, I'm thinking let's head into the shop and go say hello to Moss. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Well, let's head straight into town then. I think this is the right way. <laughs> Who is this? Pip. Ugh. Hi. What's up? I fell asleep under a tree and when I woke up my red scarf wasn't where I put it. I started looking for it but this place is so big and I'm hungry. I'll have a look for you. Oh wow, that's great. Maybe I can just take a little nap while you look. No sense in two people searching. Now where's a good napping spot? <laughs> Pip the pig, look at his outfit. I love that for him. <laughs> it looks really funny in them clothes though. So I'm trying to find a missing scarf at the moment. <gasps> Hello! It's a purple elephant. Look at their house, they have like a musician house. <gasps> this kind of reminds me of Fuchsia's house in Animal Crossing. I love the way all the furniture looks. This is Nico. Hi! Nice! A new face in town. That's cool. Nico here. Yo! Good to see you, loving your style today. Thank you! Aww. We got some cute villagers. I wonder how many you start off with in the game. Maybe just two? So this might be Pip's house? It kind of looks like a lazy pig's house. Oh, I can actually interact with the furniture. Cute! Do you know what this game does remind me of? It reminds me of a cross between Animal Crossing and My Sims, which is actually one of my other favourite games. So I'm really enjoying this so far. Oh, I found it! Yellow cup flower plant. I can harvest the flowers. What's this abandoned house over here? I found a lost scarf at least. I guess I can't head inside this abandoned house. Maybe a new villager will move in there? Mm-hmm. I found your scarf. You found it? Yep. Oh wow. That's like great. Now I can get back to my nap. <laughs> Isn't the music in this game so relaxing? I feel so peaceful to play this game. Well hello there dearie. How was everyone? Pleased to meet you I'm sure. Yeah they were both really sweet. Now I've been chatting with Moss a little bit and we were thinking. If you like it here and maybe wanted to stay a bit longer, how about we fix you up somewhere proper to live? <gasps> yes please! Wonderful! Now then, you may have seen them but there are two houses in the village that haven't been lived in for a little while and, well, could do with a bit of fixing up. We don't think it'll take much, so if you're interested, we could see about getting some resources together and turn one of them into a lovely new home for you. How does that sound? That sounds great! Oh, how splendid! I spotted a bunch of branches and debris around them last time I was up there, so maybe it's best if we start by clearing all that mess away first. Can you go and speak to Moss and see if he has any ideas? Sure, there's a good kid. This is so exciting! I know, I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Okay, let's head into the shop. <gasps> Look how cute it is in here, I love all the wood tones. Oh my goodness, this feels so cosy, the green walls and the plants everywhere. Okay, I'm slowly falling in love with this game. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm so excited. Let's talk to Moss. Ah, Lulu. Spoken to Omar, I take it? Yep. Yes, yes. <gasps> he said the Tom Nook phrase. <gasps> <laughs> it shouldn't take much to fix up one of those houses, I'm sure. What about the debris? Hmm, you're quite right, that mess needs to be taken care of. Tell you what, I know just the thing. I've got an old axe you could use to clear away those logs and branches. Here you go. Head on over to one of the houses and get clearing. Then we can see about starting the renovation. Thank you! I actually don't remember seeing a second abandoned house, so I'm going to have a proper look around this time. Okay, so obviously there was this abandoned house over here by the river. And where's the other one? Is it this one? Oh, see, I like the placement of this one. But it is right behind this person's house and then I won't be able to see it. So, hmm, I suppose I'll have to go with the one by the river then. You would get a really lovely view every night. So let's clean up these logs. I don't think there's an energy meter in this game. 
It doesn't look like it so far. Which is great because honestly, I get really tired of energy meters in games. Especially in games when you're first starting out and you have like, you know, you have to level up to earn more energy. I find that really frustrating sometimes because I'm like, oh, I can't do everything I want to do on the first day, you know? I like the face our little character pulls when they're cutting down the logs. They like grit their teeth. <laughs> It's really cute! So it doesn't look like I can get rid of this rock yet. But I can get rid of these logs at least. <gasps> I don't want to cut down the tree! No! Okay, maybe cut down one tree is okay. Ooh, I got some seeds! There's some pretty red butterflies around here too. Alright, so there's the first house cleaned up I think. Now let's clean up by this one. I can't get over... I can't remember that pig's name, is it Pip? His outfit is so funny. <laughs> Let's say hello. Oh, oh my goodness, I did not mean to axe him. <gasps> yeah, his name is Pip. I reckon I'd be pretty good at martial arts. I've watched all of the Seeing Red movies, so I'd know what to do. You guys have to let me know if that's a real movie or not. I've never heard of Seeing Red. It's probably not a real movie. Or it is, and I sound like an absolute idiot right now. I know Turning Red, Disney movie. I really like that movie actually. Okay, all the houses are clear now. Before we leave this area, I do just want to check in with our other villager, because they don't seem to come out and speak to us much. Oh, they're not inside at the moment. Guess we'll have to look around for them. It doesn't look like they're around this area. Oh, what's this? <gasps> there's a bridge over here? I didn't even know that. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's this whole area I haven't seen. Oh, here they are. Hey man, totally great to see you. Have an awesome day, yeah? I can't tell what type of personality they are, but they seem nice. So this is the beach. These are world shrines. World shrines allow you to quickly travel between areas in the world. Donate resources to each shrine to unlock it on the map. Okay, so to unlock this quick travel world shrine, we need 15 scallop shells and 15 pieces of sand. We'll probably have to collect these over a long period of time. We collected a shell already, but I'm still not sure how you collect sand. We'll probably get to go fishing as well, because look, there's fish in the ocean. Oh my goodness, the beach is actually really huge. There's even a little dock. <gasps> okay, I'm very excited by this world. <laughs> This game is so cozy! I feel so happy playing this. Alright, we need to head back to Omar and let them know that we've cleaned out all the houses ready to be moved into now. How did you get on with those pesky logs? They're all gone. Oh, how wonderful! Well then, now we can get started with the renovation. Or, well, we could if we had the resources needed. Hmm. You know, I've got an old donation box you could have. That way we'll have somewhere to gather all the resources needed to rebuild the house. If you interact with the house you'd like to renovate, you can pop the donation box outside and start collecting donations from the house. Also, it sounds good to me. Here you go. Just interact with the house you'd like to renovate and we can get started. Yay! Alright, let's head back to our new little house by the river then. I wonder how much stuff we're going to have to collect to renovate it. Interacting with the donation box will let you add resources to it. On the left, you can see the items in your backpack. On the right are all the items the box contains. You can see the renovation requirements here too. Okay, so we need 40 logs. I have 39! Okay, we just need one more log. There we go. I love these little patches of flowers everywhere. I hope we'll be able to like grow our own flowers wherever we want. Let's add the logs. Well, well! Look at that! You did it! It doesn't even look like the same house. What a transformation! Mm-hmm. Not too shabby at all. You must be very excited, Lulu. You know, I think this calls for a bit of a celebration. Quite right. You certainly earned it, Lulu. Dinner is on me. Ooh, well now. I'll see you there. Well, that stew really hit the spot. Who's this little pig in the corner? Might be your best yet, Omar. How kind of you, Moss. Food always tastes better after a hard day's work, I say. Lulu definitely worked hard today. They've got a lovely new home to go back to as a result. Good job, Lulu. Good work today. It's made a big change to how the town looks too. Sometimes all it takes is a little energy from a new face to make a difference. Speaking of which, you must be tired from all that work. No doubt you want to get back and enjoy the first night in your new home. Oh, by the way, I dropped off a sleeping bag on my way there too. Should make your night a little cosier, I hope. Thank you, Moss. You're very welcome, young'un. Hmm, it's starting to get late. We should let you get some rest, Lulu. Thanks again for your hard work today. Well, thank you so much for helping me get my own house. Good night. Oh, okay, so we automatically go into our new house. We've got some mossy brick floor, some plain beige walls, and our red little sleeping bag. Oh, good morning, Lulu. I hope you slept well. <laughs> You just stood behind this tree in this rock, it's kind of creepy. Excellent. After our little celebration last night, I started thinking. Renovating the house made such a big difference to the town. I thought there must be other things we can do to brighten it up around here. What do you say? It sounds great to me. 
You think so? Great stuff. Well, um, truth be told, I hadn't thought much after that. <laughs> um, perhaps the other villagers have some ideas for things they'd like to see in town? If you've got some time today, could you speak of them and find out for me? Sure. Great. Thank you, Lily. Come by my shop when you're done. Okay, see you. Alright, so we need to speak to the residents to find out what they want to see in the town. First up's Nico. Hey, Lulu. Man, so awesome what you did with that house. It's totally changed the vibe of the town. What's up? Is there anything you'd like to see? Oh, man. Uh, I have no idea about these things. Something like a flower plant or two, maybe. Good idea. That'd be pretty sweet. Noted. Sweet. Now to find Pip in his terrifying outfit. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like he's out and about today, so he might be inside his house. Oh my goodness, he's right in the doorway? <laughs> I don't know what it is about this outfit, I guess. I mean, these tank tops? Is that what they're called in America? I don't know, men that wear these tops scare me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure Pip is fine when he's in his exercise gear, you know? He's lazy, got his little sweatband on, and I love that for him, just sitting there watching the TV. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, he glitched into the sofa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, imagine being so lazy you just morph into your sofa. That's what's happened to poor Pip. <laughs> oh, Lulu, were you the one who fixed up the house? Yep. Oof, you'd never catch me doing anything like that. Far too much work. Lots of hassle. <laughs> Best to not get involved, I say. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> well, since you're so lazy to do anything yourself, is there anything you'd like in the town that you'd want me to do? Um, no idea. A fence or something? Okay. Alright then. Thanks, I guess. Okay, let's go tell Moss. How did you get on? All good. Great stuff. Hmm, so they've asked for a flower planter and a fence in town, eh? That doesn't sound like it'd be too much trouble. I don't have anything like that here. Maybe Sally can help out? Who's Sally? Oh, that's right. I don't think you've met her yet. Sally is usually busy working away in her workshop on this and that. Why don't you swing by and see if she can help us out? Alright, wonderful. Thank you, Lulu. No problem. I was wondering what that workshop was for. Okay, so I think it was over here. This little building is the workshop. So let's head inside. Oh, she's a dog. Oh, hey. You must be... Wait, don't tell me. Lulu? Right? Uh, yeah, right. Great. Hey. I'm Sally. So nice to meet you. Welcome to my little wooden home. Oh, well, my workshop, I guess. <laughs> How are you? Anything I can help with? Well, actually, the villagers have requested a few things. Oh, how fun! You're after a flower planter and a fence, are you? Hmm... Shouldn't be hard to put them together, I reckon. I'm gonna need some resources, though. Let's see... For the flower planter, I'll need... Wooden log times six and yellow petals times two. And let's see... For the fence, I'll need... Wooden log times four. And that should do it. I think you can find all of those outside somewhere. Come back when you've gathered everything and we can get to the fun part. Making stuff. Okay, sounds easy. You now have access to the crafting tab. On the right, you can see all the resources needed to craft this item. Close your backpack when you're ready to continue. Okay, so this is what the flower plant is going to look like. And what the fence is going to look like. Does he just want one fence? Okay, so six wooden logs. Two yellow petals. So we need about ten wooden logs. And one more flower. Easy peasy. Let's look for some wooden logs around here. I don't want to cut down too many trees if I can help it, because I do think they're quite pretty. Okay, and we can also get these flowers. I'm gonna need a few more wooden logs. Hmm, I don't know where I can get those from though. I suppose I'll cut down this tree. Okay, we definitely have enough now. So let's head back to the workshop. How are you getting on? I've got it all. Super! Okay, let's get making. Oh, you know what? Uh, what? Why don't you have a go at crafting them? You look like someone who knows their way around a, a lathe. I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, sure. That's the spirit. See that work area just in front of the stove? That's where you can craft things. You can turn resources into other resources. Not only that, but you can craft items as well. Pretty amazing, eh? Yep. Woo! -hoo. Give it a go. Okay. Hey, what are you doing there? I'd really appreciate if you don't touch my stuff. If that's cool. Don't want you hurting yourself now. Excuse- What? <laughs> what? Girl, you just said- You just said that I look like someone who could use this stuff, and I try to and you tell me off. Huh? I guess she meant this thing over here. Not that? Or did she mean this? Oh, I have no idea. I'll try this one. 
<laughs> okay, I think I chose the right one. Here are all the crafter recipes you have available. To craft one, first select it. You can select how many you'd like to craft on this pop-up. When you're ready, craft the first item. Easy peasy. And now we just have to craft the fence. Yay! Wow, look at you go. That's a pretty fine looking flower planter. This can't be your first attempt at a fence either, surely. It looks so good. I'm sure Moss will be delighted. Oh, tell him I say hi too, yeah? Will do. Thank you. Alright, let's go head back to Moss. By the way, isn't Moss the cutest name ever? And look at him, he looks so fluffy. <laughs> oh, Lulu. How did you get on? I made everything. Sally doesn't usually let others touch her tools. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> she must have taken a liking to you, young'un. I don't think so. I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> well then, let's get those lovely creations placed out somewhere in town. I trust you can find a good spot for them. Leave it to me. Let me know when you're done. Yay, we get to decorate. Oh my goodness, I can literally place them out here. My goodness, I can put this outside the shop. Or outside the inn. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love that we can customise everything here. I thought we were just going to be able to decorate like the grassy area. That is so cool. Okay, I think I'm going to put the fence over by a villager's house or something. I think it's only fair we put the flowers in front of Omar's house to thank her for letting us stay there. Otherwise we would have just been homeless that night. Okay, and it was Pip that wanted a fence, so... I'll place this little fence over here. I guess I'll put it here for now. I hope we get to change our clothes and stuff eventually. Hey Lulu, how did you get on? I placed everything. Splendid. I'm certain they've helped liven up the town more than a little bit. I was thinking, with the improvements we're doing to the town, we're soon going to run out of space. And I'm sure you'll soon start running out of resources too if you continue crafting things. You might have seen, but there's quite a bit of space on the other side of the river. It's not that wide, and I'm pretty sure if you ask Sally nicely, she might help us sort out some kind of bridge. What do you say? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, by the way, Omar wanted to speak to you about something. Go and have a chat with her when you've got time. Okay, so we need to speak to Omar and Sally. If you've got a few minutes, I thought I'd tell you about something I'm pretty sure you're going to like. I thought it'd be nice to reward you for some of the work you're doing improving the town, so I came up with an idea. I'm calling them Mayor Merits, but basically they're rewards you can unlock by doing small jobs around the town. Am I the mayor of this town? <gasps> and I'm crossing new leaf vibes? When you plant trees or whatever, you'll make progress towards a merit and a reward. You'll find a new tab in your backpack where all the merits are listed, so you can see how close you are to completing one. Some mayor merits are pretty good, even if I do say so myself, so keep an eye on that page. Okay, awesome, thank you. Take a look and see if you're close to completing one of them. Have a lovely day, Lulu. Thank you, Omar. Omar is so sweet, I'm actually obsessed with them. Welcome to the Mare Merits page. Here you can see all the merits you can unlock, and your progress towards each of them. Once you complete a merit, you'll get a notification. So because I achieved a merit, I unlocked a potted bamboo houseplant? Is that right? Did I understand that correctly? <gasps> I did! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I unlocked that by having a home. Okay. What other ones have I got to unlock? Oh, unlock the camera. Wave at 10 villagers. How do I wave at villagers? I want to do that. Backpack upgrade. Emotes. Sprinting unlocked. Map unlocked. Bomb unlocked. What am I going to need a bomb for? Now let's go speak to Sally. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this game so far. This is just the start of the game and I've really enjoyed it so far. Welcome back. I'll bet Moss loved those items you built for him. What are we building today? Um, I'd like to build a bridge, please. A bridge? Well, <laughs> that's definitely not what I was expecting. A bridge, eh? Hmm. Well, for starters, we're going to need a bunch of wooden planks. Reckon you could help me out with that? Of course. Great. Here's the crafting recipe for wooden planks. About 10 should do it, I think. While you're sorting that out, I'll get to work on a design. Okay, um... So... Two wooden logs makes a wooden plank. I'm gonna need 10, which means I need to collect 20 wooden logs. I'm not sure where I'm expected to get all these logs from. There must be somewhere else we can go explore to find some more logs. <gasps> Ooh, I have some mail! Well done on completing a mare merit. Here's your reward. <gasps> I got my plant, let's put it in my house. We can place this anywhere. I'm gonna put it by the window so it gets some light. That's so much cozier in here. Yay! <laughs> Our house is very empty, but it does feel very calming for some reason. Okay, so there is more logs over here, luckily. So you can collect these. How many was it I needed again? 20? Okay, two. 
four, six, eight. Hmm, how do I get over there? I feel bad cutting down these trees, but I guess this one is in the way of the direct pathway to the beach. So I guess cutting down this one would be okay. We almost have enough. There were some logs hidden behind here, and some trees as well. But I can't actually access this area, unfortunately. Oh, here's another one. So there are actually a lot of logs, they're just hidden behind houses and things. Oh, we're so close, we have 19. Hmm. That's really annoying me that we're one log off. But I don't want to cut down any trees. Oh, I guess we don't have much choice. Alright, well if we have to cut down a tree... I suppose... I'll cut down this one. Oh, actually, we don't have to cut down the whole tree, we just need the logs. Okay, we have enough. So let's bring these back to Sally, and then maybe we'll have a bridge built at the end of this episode. Okay, we need to craft 10 wooden planks. Go! Yay! How's it going, teammate? Looks like you got all the wood we need. Super! I threw together a quick design for a bridge that I think will work. Do you want to have a go making it? A bit of a big project for your first build, but I know you're up to the task. Alright. Awesome. See the design table just there with all the drawings and paper on it? That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to get started. Okay, so now you'll let me use the design table. I see how it is. Choose build to turn the design into a real object. Okay. Woo! I told you you could do it. Actually, you wouldn't even let me use this earlier. It's not even been another day and now you're letting me use it? Maybe she felt bad for earlier. <laughs> that bridge is going to do a great job of getting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left to do is find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Alright, count on me. Let's go place the bridge. You can place bigger things like the bridge by selecting X in your backpack. Okay. Whoa. How big is this thing? It's actually really big. Where do you think is the best place to put it? Does over here work? I guess not, because that place is higher up. Hmm. We could put it by my house. Maybe over here? Oh, yeah, I think over here looks really pretty. Let's place it. Yay! Well, well! What a magnificent bridge! It is actually really cute as well. I was expecting a stone bridge for some reason. Well done, Lulu and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. My teammate Lulu did all of the work, really. I just gave them the design. Oh, our little town is growing up. It brings a tear to my eye seeing the lovely things you've been doing for us, Lulu. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there who'd love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors at my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Sadly, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Ah, but we do. With a little bit of work, Lulu here put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we ask nicely, they'll help us with a second one. Uh, I mean, the first house I did was for me. Now you're asking me to just build houses for random people I don't even know. Um, but yes, of course I will. That's why I love these games. Of course I'll build a house. That's like my favorite thing. See, I told you, Moss. <laughs> Seriously, though, that would be wonderful of you, my dear. Here's another donation box. Do what you did last time and interact with the house to place it outside. Then we can fill the donation box with resources and in no time we'll have a delightful new home for a new villager to move into. How exciting! Alright, so now we can explore this area, which has a lot of flowers over here. Oh my goodness, this space is huge! I didn't expect this little island to be so big. There's even a raised bit over here. I wonder if we'll have to build stairs or learn to jump or something like that. Or if we can even access that area. Maybe that part's blocked off, I'm not too sure. But this has been so much fun. I think I'm actually going to end the episode here for today though because I've been playing for a long time now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed exploring Hoko Life with me. So I probably named this video like, is Hoko Life the new Animal Crossing or something like that. And so far, I'd say it has a lot of the elements that make Animal Crossing wonderful. And considering this is an indie game, I think it's done them amazingly. 
I'm looking forward to see if there's more character customization. I'm looking forward to see more villages in the game. I really enjoyed the customization. I'm looking forward to see more furniture and stuff. And just by looking at the villagers' houses and things like that, you can see that there is a lot of furniture in the game we could possibly unlock and use later on. I really like that we're able to basically decorate the entire world as well as our house and um yeah, I think the villager designs are really nice actually. They kind of remind me of like animal characters from a children's show or something. And I really like that. I think it feels really wholesome and cute. Yeah, so far we've only really seen an elephant and a pig and a giraffe. So I'm looking forward to finding out what other animals there are in this game and what other friends we can make. But obviously it's up to you guys if you want to see more of this game. I think I might play a little bit off camera because I've really enjoyed this. And um, I'm excited to keep playing it. So I think I will continue to play this game a little bit off camera. But if you'd like to see me record another video playing this game, please just let me know in the comments because it's really up to you guys what videos I create on this channel. And I'll happily make more videos playing this game if that's something you want to see because I've really enjoyed it so far. If you've played this game yourself, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And if you've just seen it for the first time today with me, I'd still love to hear what you thought of it. So please do let me know in the comments. I think with some more work and time, this game could be an incredible little replacement for Animal Crossing, seeing as Animal Crossing hasn't been getting any updates for a long time now and it doesn't seem like they have any plans to. So if you have a little bit of a hole in your heart for some Animal Crossing-esque gameplay like me, I would definitely recommend picking up this game. I think it's really, really sweet and fun so far. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Before I go, I would just like to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I really am so grateful to you all and I love and appreciate you all so much. You're the sweetest angels, so thank you so, so much. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for joining me today. Hope you're remembering to take care of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! Look at your